Chevrolet. An American Revolution and proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team presents Chevrolet Olympic Moments. And we welcome you back to Torino, the Palavella, the focus of so much attention tonight, of course, the ladies' figure skating championship. And, you know, there wasn't even supposed to be anybody from Turkey in this competition, but there were some withdrawals. And so the third alternate is in a 20-year-old originally born in Ankara by the name of Tuba Karadamir. She surprised an awful lot of people on Tuesday night when she was able to make it out of the short program into the free skate. She's had some obstacles in her career, but one very important thing she's always been able to count on. A young girl carries her country's flag into the opening ceremony. She'll be the first figure skater ever to represent Turkey in the games. Your mind flashes to the politics of the day. For a Muslim country, maybe a woman dressed in the sports revealing way might be a problem. This, after all, is a time of those type of problems. But this is not a story about politics or religion. This is a story about sacrifice, and not the sacrifice of an athlete. When Tuba Karadamir was just a little girl in Ankara, the country had one rink, and so she learned to skate. Before long, her parents were told she had potential. Potential turned to talent, and talent turned into a dilemma. Stay, and skating could be a nice hobby leave and it could be something more. So her father who owned two restaurants and her mother who was a business executive just left it all and moved 5,000 miles to Barrie, Ontario. A place where they could find out if Tuba could be more than just a little girl with talent and potential. They were like, you know what, if this is what she wants, we'll just give her everything we can. Her skating got better, but their life got worse, especially her dad. When you're 45 and moved to a whole different culture, it's really difficult to leave your entire family behind. So I think he went through a lot of hard times. He had like three, job, three jobs. He would deliver food. He would work as, you know, like a waiter. He would just do whatever, you know, it took to help pay for the sport. There's rarely something for nothing in sports. At the Olympic level, even if you invest something, you might get nothing tangible in return. Tuba wasn't the one who made the sacrifice, but every day she pays the price. Skating that important to me? Um, am I that important of a person to be putting them through this, you know? Because they worked their entire life and they had a comfortable life in Turkey, so why sacrifice that whole thing just for me? These are the questions that confuse when you're single and 20 and are intuitive when you're a parent and 40. Tuesday night is why her parents did what they did. As her mom watched on the internet in Canada and her dad followed from somewhere in Turkey, maybe they had a question of their own. How do you explain to a child how much you love them? Of course, you don't explain. You just do. Well, you heard Tuba say it. Her father has struggled with the adjustment, principally the language, so recently he had to move back home to Turkey so he could find work. Her mother is back in Canada, so Tuba Karadamir will have her Olympic moment without her family by her side. We step aside for just a moment. When we come back, the free skate of Tuba Karadamir. Chevrolet, America's brand, supports America's best.